Hey guys, it's Stackboss. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the presets I use in OBS, which stands for Open Broadcast Software. OBS is a really popular software, which is used by many YouTubers and Twitch streamers. I personally also use the software and it's great because it consists of many features and the best thing about it is that it's completely free. You do not have to pay a single penny for it, which is great for YouTubers who start out with a budget amount to spend on equipment. However, if you want the best out of the software, you require a high-end PC with a good graphics card so you do not have to use your processor to record your video. It is bad to use your processor because a graphics card provides you with a good, smooth and clear video. However, when you use your processor, you will start seeing a message which reads encoding overloaded. This means that the processor isn't able to handle the video you are recording and you must reduce the video quality to prevent this message. And to prevent this message, I'm going to be sharing my presets for OBS because I have a bad computer as well. I'm using a laptop which has 6GB RAM, an Intel Core i5 processor and Intel HD 3000 graphics. Now, as you can see, my laptop is pretty bad. My laptop's display dimensions are 1366 by 768. This is the average display most people who own laptops get. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the best presets you can use if you own a low-end PC like me. I'm going to be showing you how to optimize the settings that would not reduce your video quality and frame rate. This means you can continue recording in 60 FPS without lag. Now without further ado, let's begin. Hey guys, it's Techmos and this is OBS when you open up OBS and you're going to see a window something like this. Go ahead and click on settings if you do want to change it to the same theme as I am using. Go ahead and click the theme to dark. Your one will be on default which is a white theme, but I like to keep it on dark, which again, saves your eye strain. Now, once you are on settings, go ahead and click on to output and go on to recording. I don't normally stream, but you can copy the streaming settings on my recording settings and make sure that your recording format is on MP4. Your encoder is on X.264. Um, your encoder should be on x264 is because that's what uses your processor however if in the options you can see um nvdr.nvc or an amd processor go ahead and choose that because you should always choose your graphics card over your processor when recording as your encoder make sure your output is on 1366 by 768 make sure your rate control is on constant bitrate which is CBR don't or you could put variable bitrate that's what a lot of people do use but constant bitrate is the best which means your video will constantly be 50,000 bitrate for the bitrate you can choose something around 40,000 30,000 to 50,000 I choose 50,000 and make sure your keyframe interval is zero your CPU usage preset is ultra fast because um, anything below of that would make your video lag. I've tried very fast and it makes the video lag a lot more than ultra fast. Ultra fast gives me no lag at all whatsoever. However, if you do have a bit more high end PC than me, go ahead and choose very fast, but I'm going to choose ultra fast and keep the profile on main and tune on none. On audio, I like to keep it on 48 kilohertz, which is a really good sample rate. Other than that, I don't do anything else. Going on to video, I keep it on 1366 by 768 and my output resolution to 1366 by 768. And then my downscale filter is on Lanco's sharpen scaling 32 samples and my common FP common FPS values remain on 60 FPS and all these settings are really good for your laptop I don't know anything in the hotkeys or advanced however you could change your U YUV color space to 709 because it is a good U YUV color space and other than that once you've copied all my settings you can go ahead and pause the video 
on any of these tabs which I'm showing and go ahead and copy these settings then go ahead and click on apply and OK. And now I'm going to be showing you the video I just recorded as a sample to see what your video will look like once you have these setting settings copied on your OBS.